All right, overall length on this blade all the way from this really, really awesome pommel. Get up in there real quick so you can see it again. Super cool. And then all the way through to the very pointy tip on this blade, this Bohemian back sword, a little bit over 44 inches. So it is relatively a single-handed blade. As you can see on the handle, it's got a little nub here. You could choke up on it and do like a hand and a half, but to be completely honest with you, it actually feels better if you grip it about right here. Um, that's just a personal preference of mine. Maybe you think something different. Comment below what you think. You think it'd be better with a two-hand grip or a hand and a half or with a single-handed grip on this blade. So 44 inches overall length, uh, 36 and a half inch blade. So all the way from the very front of this braided handguard. Notice there's a little bit of a fuller going through, closer to the guard, the last, eh, let's see about last third of it, and all the way to the very pointy tip, got a 36 and a half inch blade. You'll notice the tip is not super, super pointy. It is pointy, but you see it's a little more broad on the end of it. I actually really like that. I'm trying not to touch the blade here, I don't have any gloves on me. But you can see that here, it's a little bit more swell the tip, so it's not really delicate. I mean, obviously don't go piercing arm with it. But um, at the same time, it's still very, very well put together. Arms and Armor definitely goes above and beyond as far as their quality with blades and also doing the research on where these blades are coming from. All right, so as always, we have a high carbon steel blade that Arms and Armor always puts together. All of their blades are high carbon steel. I believe even, yeah, even their spears are as well. They probably have some of the, my favorite spears out of any company. You gotta check out their spears, they're awesome. So. High carbon steel blade, excellent quality. We got the fuller going through toward the, let's say the last third of the blade from the guard. It's on both sides as you can see. Very sharp, uh, functional edge of course. Um, very, very great blade here as you can see. Tapers very nicely to the point. What's the weight? How much does this thing weigh? Two pounds, 2.6 pounds. Two pounds, six ounces. So. Really, really versatile blade, like I said before. You have the double edge grip you can do, or the hand and a half, whatever you want to call it. You've got all the slashing. Hey, guess what? You also got the thrusting. As long as it's got a tip, you can thrust with it. So, really awesome blade. A little bit longer of a blade than what I'm used to. Can you still move with it? Yeah, sure. I mean, it still has all the slashing and everything like I just said, but you're not going to be like doing advanced manipulations and flipping this thing around. A little bit different with this style of blade but very well balanced excellent excellent blade so this one does not come with a scabbard um you can always get a scabbard for somebody like kristen fletcher um somebody who does custom scabbards as well but this being said um just get some kind of packaging for it you can always protect it with um and we make sure that we take care of it when we actually ship this to you as well so we will take care of you if you're going to grab one of these um, so from here what I want to do is do some close-up looks of this blade so you can see exactly what I see as if it's in your hand And then we'll get to the cut test. Let's uh, take a look at some up-close looks at this blade All right, let's go to the cut testing now with this blade. <laughs> it's a very sharp blade. Yeah, man, they know what they're doing when it comes to swords. <laughs> Barely felt that. There's no damage to it. I wouldn't expect there to be anyway. But it felt super good, feels super good in the hand. I actually really like, I know I said that before, but I changed my mind. I actually like that notch right between the, <laughs> right between the ring finger and the middle finger, just because it gives you that nice grip between that. Even though it does taper down toward the pinky side, it still allows a really secure grip as well. Pretty awesome. All right, so there you have it, the Arms and Armor 
Bohemian Backsword. I keep trying to say Bohemian Rhapsody, <laughs> but Bohemian Backsword. So super solid blade, really great in the hand, great feel, obviously great slashing capabilities, and of course, great thrusting capabilities as well. If you like this blade or any arms and armor products that they have, they've got swords, incredible swords, axes, amazing stuff, maces, they've got gothic mace, which is super, super nice that we have in stock. Click the link below in the description of this video to see this blade, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and as always, I'll talk to you soon.